welcome to the Piemonte um, Wine Club case preview for April 2023. Very exciting. Um, anyway, for those of you who don't know anything about Baton Bottle Wine Club, we send out three cases. Um, first one, Conspirators, 12 bottles, four wines, three bottles of each. Goes out every quarter. Lovely wines. Um, the second case, Vina Curiosity. That's a little bit more hardcore. Six wines, two whites, four reds um, from all over Italy. As a general rule, occasionally we throw in a foreigner, but not very often. Um, again, that goes out every quarter. This one only goes out every six months. This is Piemonte. The last Piemonte case had nine bottles. This one has six. I do love nine bottle cases, but six bottle cases is lovely too. It's enabled me to put some absolutely cracking wines in. So I'll be fascinated to see... You'll see what I mean when you have a look at the balance of this. Now, it's worth saying at this point, um, because it's the Easter week, April's, everything's rammed into April. Um, the tasting will be on the 19th of April now. Deliveries will only be on the 18th because it's an Easter Monday. So we'll send them on Tuesday. They'll get delivered to you on Wednesday. Now, if you're away, if you're catching some snow, walking in the mountains, whatever you're doing, um, do let me know and I'll hold on to the wines and send them out later because they'll only get bottled on the Monday evening or even the Tuesday morning before they go out. So you'll be drinking them the day after they're poured and they'll be fine into the next week and you can, I'll be recording the tasting so you can just go through the tasting again the week after if there is a problem with that. So do just let us know, quick as you can, please. Um, and if you'd like to get involved, we've got a few pours left. So uh, do just get in touch. They are listed on the website, the tasting, small bottle tastings, which is they're just brilliant value. It's such makes sense to do small bottle tastings when you're drinking expensive wines. Um, and the, when, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah if you go to bat.wine and look at the wine club section, um, you will find whereabouts is, uh, whereabouts to buy those particular cases, case all the bottles. Um, just let me know. It's fine. Um, any questions at all, Emma and I are available. Uh, mobiles are on the website. Nothing is hidden. It's all fantastic. So the um, deliveries, by the way, will be on the 18th of April. So tasting on the 19th, deliveries on the 18th. Quite tight, but it'll be fine. Now, we're going to kick off six Nebbiolos this time. Three from the Alto Piemonte and three from the Lange. So, nice balanced case in many ways. The three from the Alto Piemonte will kick off with number one, which is Villa Era. Now, if you've heard of Villa Era before, that's brilliant, but highly unlikely. Villa Era is from Vigliano, and Vigliano is the first of the hills. The hills are basically, the Alto Piemonte just starts to wander out from Biella to the west of Biella and it follows the foothills of the Monte Rosa. First, this is the first of the villages um, and it's a magnificent villa, absolutely divine. There's, there's writings from Steiner in their library and all sorts of stuff. I mean, it's, it's a treasure trove historically. Um, and this particular wine is... They've got their own clones of Nebbiolo and they used to be planted. Oh, I'm going to go on for too long and, and you'll get all of that in the main tasting when we do that. But pure Nebbiolo, aged in barrel for a couple of years, um, made by Andrea, who's, who's really good at this sort of thing. Very, absolutely straight, very pure. You know, th this wine was famous. A couple of hundred years ago, this was a very famous wine. Now, of course, it's only a thousand bottles made. It's never going to be famous with that sort of production. But if you want to taste a totally different Nebbiolo, very different from most of the Bramateras I've tasted, quite similar to some Lesona. Again, very different to Bocca, very different to Gattinara. Lovely, lovely wine, which brings me to the next two wines. Now, we did this last time, but I'm not worried about it because these, these are worth, it's a bit different. Last time we did the Gattinara 15 versus the Osso Sangrato, the single vineyard Gattinara 15. This time, it's two single vineyard wines. So the first one, I got the right one. There we go. Here's the first one. First one is the San Francesco. Now, this wine, this wine, this wine, this wine. This wine is um, from just behind the Castelli. So it's it's, it's a 
particular vineyard. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful vineyard. Um, and the 17, it's, it's quite remarkable. I've never bought it before. This is the first time I bought it. I was so excited by this one. For me, I'll be, I'll be curious to see if you agree. For me, it's the superstar of the 17s. Everyone always goes for the Osso Sangrato. I mean, this is the most extreme. It's regarded as one of the best Nebbiolos in Italy. It's a magnificent wine. Um, but in 2017, ah, which to go for? Osso Sangrato? Oh, San Francesco, I don't know. I don't know, they're both really fantastic. They make the wines in the really classic way. So it's concrete, concrete fermentation, wild yeast, um, aged in Botte Grande. Um, they've sold everything. Antoniolo at the moment, they're just riding the crest of a wave. When we visited a few weeks ago, there was just nothing in the cantina, nothing. I mean, not a bottle, superb wines. So. We're doing Alto Piemonte, two single vineyard Gattinaras, and the ridiculously rare Villa Era, which is almost a garden behind the, uh, behind the villa. Um, astonishing wines. And then we go down to the Lange, and we kick off there. I thought I'd, I thought I'd give you something. I do this on purpose, you know. And, and the idea of this, Prunotto, really is, they're owned by Antinori. They're a big company, mate. Really good wine. If you're going to buy from a big company, there aren't many better people in Italy to buy from than Antonori. And uh, Brit Terbo Terro, as it's, yeah, I, I really like it. It's Barbaresco. Very, well, how do you say? Modern winemaking. You know, it's a beautiful use of barrique. Very, very fresh. Very clean. Very, very good wine. And really good to put in the middle of a tasting like this. So we've got... Uh, Antoniolo's pretty small. They might be third largest in Gattinara, but you've got to remember in Gattinara, uh, Travellini are 49% of Gattinara, and then Nervi are number two, they're probably 30. In terms of vineyard holding, I would guess Franchino's probably number three. Um, and Antoniolo are either going to be four or five, but not really that bigger estate. Villa Era minuscule, thousand bottles, you know, barely, it's a, it's a puddle of wine. Um, and the next two wines we're told, the tasting two are also pretty small. This is much bigger production, but really well-made wines. And it's, it's great to have the comparison between the larger quality producers and the artisan small boys. So Barbaresco 18, and then the other 18 we're tasting is from La Poberti. But before we do the Lapo wine, we're doing brand new wine here from Dossio. Now, I've never shipped Dossio's wine before. This is Dossio Barolo, 2017, um, and it's the Fosati. Now, I tasted, I tasted Dossio a few years ago because Andrea Faccio at Villa Giada is involved with them now. He's now um, managing director, I think, of, of Dossio, as well as Giada. Um, and he's, he's, he's a great man, is a great friend. And for that reason, I was desperate to buy Dossier wines. When we first tasted them, I thought, they're lovely wines, but it didn't, they weren't quite there. And the first thing he did when he arrived at Dossier was he took everything out of barrel. Um, and these are some of the results of just shorter barrel aging. Fruit's still excellent. Fossati is a wonderful vineyard. And I've done something I'm always looking at sort of comparisons with these tastings and so you can have a bit of fun. So you've got two Fosatis, you've got Dossios, you've got Lapo Bertis. Now Lapo is the winemaker for Enzo Boglietti. He is an Australian Tuscan character who's making natural wines and his Barolo is just so hands-off and so pure. He's pared it back. It's all very gentle hand punching down of the of the of the of the caps. Really immaculate winemaking. I hardly got any Fosati. Um nearly all of it's going into this tasting. There'll be a couple of bottles left perhaps. And it's uh, something very, very, very special. And to compare with Dossio, so I'd be fascinated to see how you compare the pair of them, because Dossio is somewhere in the middle. It's they're not as big as Antio. Of course they're not. But for us, they're a little bit bigger. They make, you know, decent quantities of, uh, of I'll, I'll put the exact quantities in the wine tasting notes, of course. Um, but you're going to be tasting 
2017 Fossati from Dossio, 2018 from Lapo Barti. It's a really interesting comparison. Then you've got the 18 Prunotto Barbaresco as well. Then you have the 18 Villa Era. You've got the two 17s from Antoniolo. So it's a tasting of 17 and 18 vintages together. Um, Galloni gave the 18s a bit of a pasting, but I think it's a cracking vintage. I, I really enjoy it. I don't understand why they got a hard time. So if you want, if you love your Nebbiolos and you haven't got a tasting pack lined up here, grab one. Even if you haven't got the tastings, you just want to turn up to the tasting and, 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 and hear what's going on. Email me. The, the tasting is not an open tasting. You need an invitation to get in, but, but, but I'll send you an invitation if you're interested. Um, come and join us. Come and see what it's all about. This is this is a fantastic look at Nebbiolo. This is the king, and this is great tasting. So if you've got one of these cases, fantastic. If you haven't, hurry up and buy one. There's only a couple left. Um, if you want the small bottle tastings, again, there's a couple of those. Hurry up. There aren't many left. They're all available, and I look forward to seeing you on the... What have I done with the tasting dates? There it is. 19th of April. See you then. All the best. Bye.